All right, what's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up all of your shipping rates and settings inside of your Shopify store. Before we get into the video, if you're looking to run pre-orders in your Shopify store, check out the Easy Pre-Order app by clicking the first link in the description. Pre-orders are a great way to lock in additional revenue for your store that you otherwise may not have been able to capture. By taking pre-orders, you can continue selling your products when they are out of stock, allowing customers to buy them with the expectation of receiving the product at a future date once you restock. Or you can also pre-sell products that haven't even been released yet. Say if you are launching a new product next month, you could start accepting pre-orders now for that product to lock in that revenue and sales ahead of time. Pre-orders are a staple in the e-commerce industry, and Easy Pre-Order is the simplest way to set up and manage pre-orders on Shopify. So check out Easy Pre-Order by clicking the link in the description and start recapturing lost revenue by offering pre-orders now. So let's go ahead and jump right into it here. We're going to come down here to settings, and then we're going to click on shipping and delivery. And the first thing we're going to take a look at here is our general shipping rates under shipping right here. So this is going to be what most of you are going to be setting up, but I'm also going to show you how you can set up your custom shipping rates as well as local delivery and everything else. So we're gonna open up manage right here under general shipping rates, and we can see that these, these general rates are going to apply to all of our products in our store by default. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna see all of our products here showing up in this general profile. And down here is where we can actually edit everything. So we have shipping origins, so what we have to do is set up our shipping zones. So by default, we have domestic here set up. So for me, that is United States. And then we can create different shipping zones to cover other countries. So we can see here right now, we have not covered by our shipping zones, 27 countries and regions. And these are showing up right here. So in order to create a shipping zone, we can come up here and click create zone. You can choose to just select all of the international countries if you want and have that be its own zone, or instead you could segment it by say continent, that's one easy way to do it. So let's say if we were to create one for like Asia, for example, we could add in the Asian countries. You can add in these East Asian countries right here. Let's say we just call this zone Asia and click on done here. Then you can create other ones for say Europe, etc. So your shipping zones are going to be completely dependent on where your store actually ships to. So maybe you only ship domestically, so you would only need domestic, or maybe you want to have shipping rates apply to every international country instead of just by continent. So you can group it up that way. It's really going to be personal preference how you want to group your shipping zones, but that's how we can create shipping zones right there. And let's say we just wanted to, for example, get rid of the zone and just create one for flat international. We could do that as well. So once we have our zone set up, we need to actually add rates in here. So if we click on add rate, we can see we have two options. We can either set up our own rates or we can use a carrier to calculate rates. So first I'll show you how we can set up our own rates. So first off, we'd have to select transit time. So in this case, we can choose standard or you can choose custom flat rate that has no specified transit time here. And then we can set the price for this. So let's say this price is just going to be for a flat $10. And you can choose to add conditions here based on item weight and order price if you want. In this case, I won't add any conditions. It will just be flat $10 here. And we'll click on done. But let's say we wanted to add another rate that would be say a free shipping rate. So we keep the price at zero and we'll make the conditions based on order price. And the minimum price would be say $75. So any order that's going to be over $75 is going to qualify for this free shipping rate right here. So another thing you can do is use calculated rates. So if we were to add in a calculated rate, we can click on use carrier or app to calculate rates. And then for domestic in the United States, you can choose between UPS and USPS, and you could choose which one of these services you want to offer for your shipping. So you just wanna make sure that you check the ones that you're actually going to use because it's going to calculate those rates exactly. So I'll check priority mail, for example, and you can add in a handling fee if you want, but just an FYI, if you do add in a handling fee, it's probably going to significantly lower your conversion rates. So I would recommend not doing that here unless it's a very significant handling fee that you have on your end. So we can click on done and we can see that 
with the carrier rates, this is going to be calculated automatically, the transit time and everything, and the cost is going to be calculated at checkout depending on where the customer actually lives. The calculated rates makes it a little bit easier on your end to make sure you don't lose out on shipping, but you have to make sure that your package and product weight is accurate, so that way the shipping is going to be calculated accurately and we'll be covering how to add in your packages a little later in the video. So now we just need to add a rate for international here. So for the sake of time, it's the same exact process. I'm gonna just set up a flat rate here for international and we'll just make it a flat $20 with no conditions. But actually we'll add in based on weight this time. So we'll say up to 30 pounds is going to be $20. And then we could add in another rate and this would be $30 and the condition could be order weight, everything over 30 pounds. So 31 and up is going to be $30 in shipping. So that's how we can set up rates inside of our shipping zones. So down here, you'll see that it'll show you how many countries and regions are not covered by your shipping zones. So you just want to make sure that you have a zone that contains every single country that you want to ship to, because if you don't, then anyone in those specific countries that you don't have a zone for is not going to be able to complete checkout on your store. So once you've set up all of your shipping rates inside of the shipping origins, all you have to do is click on save. So I'm going to take a look at custom shipping rates, and this is going to be beneficial if you have custom products that don't fit in with the majority of the products on your store. So let's say, for example, for some reason on this store, we were selling a mattress. So we'll name this profile say like heavy products we'll add the product in i don't actually have a mattress in this store but we'll act like this test shirt is a mattress so let's say that we have a mattress and we only ship mattresses domestically so we could create a zone here that's just going to be for our domestic country here and we could add in a custom rate for this particular product so let's say this mattress and these heavy products are going to cost more to ship than the rest of our products so we would want to add in our own rate here put custom here and we can actually name it if we want make this more expensive so we'll say it's 50 dollars shipping to ship our mattresses here and we could add conditions just like before but in this case i won't so setting up the shipping origins and the shipping zones and the rates are going to be exactly the same for these custom shipping profiles you can set up as many of these custom profiles as you want depending on how many different types of like product categories that you have. So if you have products that are going to cost you substantially different shipping costs, then that's when you're going to want to use the custom shipping profiles here. So once we've set this up, we'll click on done. So now we have our general shipping rates for pretty much all of our products. And then we have the custom shipping rates here for the heavy products. The next option we can choose is whether or not we want to show delivery dates at checkout. So this is going to be personal preference. You can choose whether or not you want to check this on or not. Local delivery, if we open this up here, we can choose one of our shop locations and then you can choose whether or not this location offers local delivery. And you can set that up here by using the zip codes and you can name the zone here and then you can choose the zip codes that you actually deliver to. You can set a minimum order price for this local delivery and then you can set the delivery price as well and you can add in delivery information so this is pretty self-explanatory pretty similar to what we've done before and we can create different delivery zones so if you have different local delivery zones for each zip code this is where you can set that up right here in this case i'm just going to go back and we're going to take a look at local pickup here so for local pickup it's going to be unchecked by default but you can choose to check it right here so you can select your expected pickup time. So how long does it take for orders to be ready to be picked up? And this is what that's going to look like here in the checkout. And then you can include pickup instructions here. So in this case, bring your confirmation email when you collect your order and come to the front desk. So you can customize this to whatever you want. So that's how you can set up local pickup. That's pretty simple to do as well. Then we have delivery customizations. So for most of you, this is going to be empty. On this particular store, I actually have my wholesale app, Process Wholesale, installed on this store. And that app does allow you to set up custom shipping options for wholesale customers. So that's why we are seeing this right here. But if you don't have any apps that are messing with your shipping options, then this is going to be blank and you don't have to worry about it. And down here we have our packages. So this is where you can actually set up the packages that you're going to be shipping your items in. 
and this is going to be important if you're using carrier calculated rates because this is going to ensure that the calculated rates match as closely as possible the rates that you're going to be paying so you don't lose out money on shipping so we can add a package in here i could just call this normal box and let's say a 10 by 10 by 5 box and as long as you include product weight then you don't really have to worry about the package weight itself here and you can choose whether or not you want to make this the default store package so if you have the majority of your shipments being shipped out in the same package you can choose that as a default but if you have let's say 10 or so different boxes and packaging that you use for your store then you'd have to add in 10 different packages here so this is how we can add in a custom package but let's say you're using a carrier package so if you went back to the usps priority mail example you might be using flat rate boxes, whether it's small, medium, large, or any of the envelopes here. So you would select which one of these options that you are using here. So that way your shipping rates are calculated accordingly. Then now here we have the option to buy and print discounted shipping labels through Shopify shipping, which you can see they use DHL Express, UPS, and USPS. But if you're not using any of these carriers, you can connect another third-party carrier account right here. And then lastly, you can edit the packing slip template, but it already looks pretty good by default. So honestly, you don't really have to do that. But if you do want to, then you're gonna have to edit it with liquid code, but you don't really have to worry about that to be honest. And then lastly, if you're using a custom fulfillment service, you can add in the name and the email of that service that fulfills orders for you right here. And lastly, before we end the video, I want to quickly show you how you can actually purchase shipping for your orders here. So if you come over here to orders and then you click on the order you want to actually fulfill here, we can open it up and then you can open up these orders here and then you can just click on create shipping label right here. Now, this is a test store, so I'm not actually going to be able to do that because we can see I don't actually have a valid location set as my shop location. But in order to do this, you would just have to make sure you have a payment method and a valid phone number and street address set up for your shipping origin. And then we could choose our package and wait down here. So we can see this is going to be the packages that we set up earlier right here. We have our two packages and then we can choose the total weight. So we have the weight of the product and the package right here. And then we have the shipping method selected by the customer. And then we can just buy the shipping label right here. So that's how you can set up your Shopify shipping settings inside of your store. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in another one.